Alright, so what we're going to do now is reverse the algorithm that we did in the previous video where we had this multi-level data structure and that we flattened out using an algorithm that we devised and then now what we're going to do is the opposite. So we're going to take this flattened out data structure and then recover our original data structure. And to do that, uh, we're just going to have to reverse the operation which means that we're going to have to break off the links that we created. Those red links that you see here, these were the ones that we created so that we could link all the elements uh, on the first level uh, in a way that would allow us to simply follow the next pointers and essentially traverse all the elements in the multi-level data structure. So this is what we did previously, now we're just going to break off those links. And to do that, you could use multiple algorithms. The one we chose to implement is a recursive one. It's simple to implement, that's why we took it. And uh, this is how it works. It's very similar to what we had previously. So we're going to be examining every single element on the first level, starting at the head. And we're going to ask the question, does that element have a child? If it does have a child, then instead of actually creating a link or appending it to the first level, we're going to break off the link that we created previously. So break off the child's link to the previous element. And then once we break it off, we're going to call the function once more on that node and process, uh, do the same process again, ask the same question, but this time for this node and for this particular list right here. Now the reason we do that and the reason why we don't actually carry on to the next element right away instead of moving downwards is because suppose we actually did that. Suppose we went down, looked at this element, broke this link off, and then went to this next element, which follows this first element. Kept on doing this, now you realize that when you reach this point, what you would have essentially done is broken off your link to the second level. And there would be no way for you to actually go on downwards and break off all the links that are associated to the third and fourth and fifth level. So, in order to uh, solve that and remedy that, what we do is that we keep uh, our state. So we keep our state in memory. So we have we were looking at the first pointer at the first element right here. Then we examine its child. We broke off the link. Then what we're going to do is we're going to call the same function, the same process on that child and the the list that it's associated with, keeping the pointer that we were uh, or, or our the state you know the state of the function when we were processing the first level, keeping that in mind. So we, were, we will memorize it, we will store it in memory, and this is what recursion allows us to do. When you call the function once more, it will store the state of the original function or the, its execution onto memory. So we will still have our pointer right here, while we can go downwards and then process the next list and remove all its uh, pointers, and the, uh, all, all, all the links, and then when we come back right here, and then we reach this point, we won't need to move next because we would have already processed all the elements that come beneath it, and even the ones, the children of the children, and so on and so forth. So take some time to visualize why, we're, why exactly we're doing this. It's hard to explain, but if you just focus a little bit, you would find out why exactly we're doing that. Um, and then once we're done, we could advance to the next node. This is essentially the while loop going over one list and uh, we're going to be implementing that in code so this is the code basically and the first thing it involves is just passing so this is the unflattened list function unflattening the list we're going to pass it the pointer to the head of the list and also a pointer to the tail pointer we want to modify the tail pointer because if you remember in the previous video we had the tail pointer uh, moved from the last element on the first level to the very last element on the modified first level basically which was the very very last element of, of the multi-level data structure so now we want to bring it back here so we're gonna have to do that and to do that we're gonna do it right here so uh, we want to modify the tail pointer so this is essentially the modification to the tail pointer look at it see how it works out it's very easy it's just sweeping over the first level reaching the end and then modifying the tail pointer like we did in the previous uh, function now this is the call to the recursive function passing it the head and this is where all the action happens. This is essentially the implementation of an al algorithm that I showed you there. So what we're doing, this is our while loop. This is checking if the current element that we're looking at has a child. If it does have a child, we're breaking the link right here. So to break the link, you have to set some pointers to null, two pointers essentially. Reach for the previous element, set it to null, set its next pointer to null, and then, uh, and then that child itself, you look at its previous pointer and set it to null look at the diagram for that and then call that recursive function once more on the child and its list and then this is to go on with the while loop so this is essentially the implementation of that algorithm